I can't tell you how annoying my mother's always been. Well, I can actually, and I will, right now, as it happens. Relentlessly cheery, she is. You know the type? Those signed up members of the unreasonably happy squad. How soul sapping are they, eh? Can never let you have a proper old wallow in your own legitimate misery. Well, my mother is squadron leader, squadron founder, squadron bloody poster girl. Sees you there, flailing about in the depths of righteous pain, and has to throw her shoes and stockings off and wade in to drag you out. Leave me alone, woman. Can you not see I want to hold on to this suffering for a bit? So she started early. Reckon I was about three and a half. It was in the garden. Mother was hanging out the washing, whistling while she worked. We had a paddling pool. I was in it. As was water. So far, so unremarkable. Standard posture vis-a-vis -vis paddling pools might generally be described as feet down, rest of body progressively up. And to be fair, that was pretty much how I started. But integral to their nature, paddling pools are, as one might say, slippy. And I slipped, rearranging my posture into what might generally be described as face down, rest of body flailing hopelessly about. Mother, pegging out the smalls, whistled on, oblivious to her own young small, close to pegging out himself. A louder gurgle caught her attention. Just in time, she swooped. Flipped me upright. Me absolutely wailing. Hello, little cherub, she says, grinning. Yes, grinning. Nothing to fret about, darling. Thank your lucky stars, hey? Mummy might have been too busy to notice. But she did, didn't she? So you got a whole big extra cuddle, didn't you, pumpkin? You lucky, lucky boy. Great. Thanks, Mum. When I was twelve... I got hit by a cricket bat. Well, not chased around the pitch by a weapon-wielding sports freak, you understand. I was wicket-keeper. Useless bowler. Ball went approximately six yards wide and stopped. I went to get it. So did the batsman. He took a blood-curdling swipe at it just as I bent down to pick it up. Came into the hospital. Massive bandage wrapped around my head. Skull throbbing. Only bits of visible flesh, a violent shade of shiny purple. One eye struggled open, and there at my bedside, Mother. Hello, little cherub, she says, grinning. Not everyone gets to see the lovely Mr Jenkinson, you know. Number one paediatric consultant in the whole county, I hear. And he's been called in, specially just for you, darling. Brill. Thanks, Mum. Seventeen. A-levels pending. Two years of solid grind. Required... Two A's and a B. Uni place beckoning. Confident. Track record of overachieving in GCSEs. Coronavirus. Teacher assessment. Predicted grades. Info sent to faceless exam board. Arcane calculations. Two A's. And a C. Shit, shit, shit. Well done, darling, she says, emerging from the kitchen, grinning, of course, and don't you dare call me little cherub. 
Who knows what you might have got in the lottery of examinations? Could have been dreadful. And tomorrow, the sun will still rise, and the birds will still sing, and at least you'll have no more school to worry about. Terrific. Thanks, Mum. And with that, she skipped blithely back to finish preparing lunch. It was a shame about the spilled fat on the floor. But looking on the bright side, Mum, I hear they do plaster casts in an amazing choice of colours these days. Lucky you, hey? Eh?